Welcome back AACPS staff for our final tutorial on how to create using WeVideo in the storyboard mode. In this video, we're going to talk about how to finish and save a project. So first, let me clarify everything in WeVideo that you're working on saves automatically. So if I needed to, I could simply close out of my browser and walk away from this. But when I am finished, I have options to export this out of WeVideo. And that begins by clicking finish here in the upper right hand corner. This is where I'm finally prompted to name my video. And then I get some additional options here on the export page. Over here on the left hand side I can choose the thumbnail. So what do I want people to see when they click to play my video? I see the name displayed up here in the upper right hand corner. I can choose the resolution that I prefer. SD or standard definition or HD or high def. Keep in mind that your SD videos will be a smaller file size. So um, faster for downloading, uploading, sharing and so on. Um, not everything needs to be high def. So choose SD whenever possible. High def for really important videos, large audience, things that will be presented on a large screen. Then I have the options to choose my destination. Where do I want my Wii video creation to save to? Now it's important to note that if I don't choose any of these and I simply click export, every video I've ever created in Wii video saves here in my Wii video account and I can access any of them by logging into Wii video and clicking on my exports option up here in the menu. But if I intend to share this video with students or colleagues, then it's better to choose another destination that easily allows me to share. Staff members in AACPS will see the YouTube options, so if you frequently put videos on a YouTube channel, you can export directly to YouTube and begin that process of uploading and setting up your permissions on YouTube. The other two options we have here is our AACPS Google Drive or our OneDrive, and again those are great if you plan to share this with teachers or students. So I'm going to select Google Drive and then I'm going to click Export. This brings me to a message that says my video is being processed, but it also tells me I don't even have to keep this window open in order for this process to occur. So at this point I could close my browser, I could walk away, and I would know that my video is being saved and will appear in my Google Drive. Last thing I want to show you is what you can expect to find in your Google Drive or in your OneDrive if you choose that destination. The first time you choose to allow WeVideo to save to your Google Drive, it's going to ask for permission. And when you give it permission to access your Google Drive, what it's going to do is create a folder for you on your Google Drive called WeVideo. Here's my WeVideo folder and everything that I create in my AACPS WeVideo account automatically saves to this WeVideo folder. So this is where I would go to find it in the future when I was ready to share it with my colleagues or students. Thank you for watching the final WeVideo tutorial.